Hello guys, good evening. Can you guys hear me? Good evening, Walter. Right, guys, welcome back. Good evening. Good evening, Roberto. Welcome back, guys, to another video conference. Right? We have we got very few people connected. Uh, maybe it's because it's, it's seven o'clock. All right, so but we are going to start, guys. You know, like talking a little bit about what we were discussing the last class. Do you guys remember what were we discussing the last class? Let's start a little bit with that. Vamos a comenzar con una pequeña retroalimentación, un par de minutos, mientras sus compañeros se logran conectar, okay? So, what were we guys discussing the last class? ¿Qué recordamos de la clase pasada? Any idea? Any comment? Uh, discipline path. Ah, okay. Very good. So, we were talking about the simple past. Perfect. What else do you guys remember? ¿Qué más recordamos, people? Uh -huh. For the ones who are just getting connected, what else do we guys remember from yesterday? ¿Qué más estuvimos hablando la clase pasada, people? Any comment? Que, que cuando es positivo, el, el verbo va a ir en pasado, del simple past question, question algo así. Ah, y que okay. cuando es en negativo va el verbo en presente. Now, okay, very good. So that's part of it. Thank you, Clara. So basically, if you guys remember, right? If we got an affirmative statement, so you got a subject plus verb in the past plus the complement. But if you got a negative form in there, we need an auxiliary verb, right? So because we need an auxiliary verb, that's the reason why we use the verb in the base form, in the original form, right? So that's the reason why. Uh, if you guys don't listen to me clearly, please let me know. Si sienten que estoy hablando, con, bueno, más bien casi gritando que hablando, es porque acá está lloviendo bastante fuerte. Entonces, uh, por el sonido del techo, casi no, no. Siento que no escucho mucho, <laughs> ¿ok? Así que no crean que es porque, I mean, I am exalting myself, ¿ok? It's just because of that. Así que si no me escuchan o algo por el estilo, please let me know, ¿ok? All right, people. So basically, uh, we were just like giving a brief summary about what we were doing yesterday. Now I'm going to start with the attendance list. And then we are going to continue with the topic that we had tonight. Griselda says, está leyendo. Okay, Griselda. All right, people, just give me one second. I'm gonna let's start with the attendance list. Let me see. Okay, Alfredo Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Ana Maria. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Brenda Angelica. Present teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. Karen Beatriz. Karen. Okay, I think Karen is not here yet. Uh, Selina Yanet. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Clara Marina. 
present teacher. Ah, ok, perfect. Cristian Eduardo. Present teacher. Ok, excellent. Uh, David Alberto. Ah, oh, is there? Ok, perfect. David Armando. Present teacher. Ah, ok, perfect. Denis Gerardo. Present. Ok, excellent. Diego Rodolfo. Present teacher. Ah, ok, perfect. Erika Michel. Erika. Ok, so it's not here yet. Fatima Laura. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Gabriela Margarita. Gabriela. Ok, Gabriela is not here yet. Griselda Jamilet. Ok, Griselda está como oyente. Uh, Guillermo Josué. Okay, so Guillermo is there, but apparently he's BC. Uh, ah, okay. Not Jaime Vladimir. Jaime, are you there? Okay, yeah, he's there. Uh, Jenny Marisol. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> okay, no problem, Jaime. All right, Jenny, I am. She's there. Uh, Jose Roberto. Presente. Ok, perfect. Jocelyn Abigail. Present. Ok, very good. Rafael Ernesto. Ok, very good. Uh, Roberto Antonio. Roberto Antonio. Present. Ok, perfect. Uh, let me see. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Thank you. Walter Manuel. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Yanira Isabel. I am in change of the listener right now. And we have the last one, uh, Judy Magdalena. Is Judy here? Okay, so she is not here yet. Okay, so perfect. So we are going to start, guys, with the development of the topic that we are going to be discussing uh, tonight. So basically tonight we are going to start with a short conversation that we have in the platform and also in the manual and the part that we're going to be discussing it's going to be this one. Give me one second. Oh, I'm going to show you that. Okay, so basically, this is going to be the first topic activity that we guys are going to be working on tonight. As it says, how was your vacation? So basically, in here, we are going to start with the simple past forms, but in this situation, 
we are not going to use the verbs that we were discussing yesterday. Tonight, we are going to be talking about the uses of the verb to be in the simple past. All right? So that's going to be uh, the topic for tonight. Just give me one second, guys. Okay. <clears throat> okay, people. So just let me know if you guys are listening to me like like in not in a sequence, okay? So as I said, we are going to be talking a little bit about how to use two structures of the verb be. So just keep on mind, people. The verb to be, the verb be, it's basically in the simple past divided in two categories. You got was and you got where. You got two structures. Was is mostly used with I, he, Teacher, se escucha cortando. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Hi, people. Can you listen to me? Hello. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, guys, pero es que estoy teniendo un corte de uh, señal debido a la fuerte tormenta que está en el área. Así que, así que, please, just keep me informed if you listen to me, like, in an interrupted way, okay? Uh, es debido al problema que está lloviendo bastante fuerte acá. Creo que por eso es que me está afectando bastante la señal. Okay, but let's continue uh, where we stay, guys. Okay, so we were here, estábamos acá, specifically in this part. As I was telling you guys, if you know, we got the verb to be in the simple past divided into, into categories in the simple past. You got was and you got where, okay? So you got two categories. So, when to use these two categories. Was is mostly used with I, he, he, I can hear him very well. Yeah, I mean, it's raining like super hard in here, guys. De verdad, lo siento, pero es que está lloviendo demasiado fuerte acá. No sé si me escucha. Okay, I understand, but I don't understand what you say because you are, yeah, I can, I hear you, I listen to you, I listen to you like, uh, 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 uh. Something like that. Very weird, but if that's true, that's really okay. true. All right, give me one second. Guys. Okay. Uh, I don't know, guys, if you... Uh, still listen to me. No sé si todavía me escuchan bien o todavía me escuchan cortado. He's better. Ok, uh, creo que debido a la señal voy a mantener por el momento mi cámara apagada. A lo mejor y eso me ayude bastante para no estar perdiendo tanto uh, la señal. Ok. 
eh, por favor me informan si eh, no me escuchan o me están escuchando cortado, right? Para así volver a explicar a lo mejor algún punto en el cual nos, nos, eh, nos quedemos, ¿ok? So, I am going to share again what I was telling you guys, ¿ok? And as I said, we are going to start with this short conversation. Vamos a comenzar con esta pequeña conversación. In here, guys, I was telling you that the main focus in here, it's going to be the verb to be, but in the simple past. Let's remember that we have be as the base form, but also in the simple past, we have two structures. You have was and you have where. Okay, so we got was and where. Cuando usamos was. All right. Was, generally, generally you use it with the pronouns I, he, she, it, and singular nouns. Okay? So, in these categories, this is how you use the verb to be. All right? So, now, when to use where. So, where we use it with you, we, they, and plural nouns. Okay? So, these ones are basically the categories of pronouns that we guys have to remember when it comes to the verb to be in the simple past. So let's remember, we are focusing on was and where, okay? Very good. Now, so we have a short conversation in there, guys, that I would like we start practicing, okay? So in this case, we have a short conversation between Celia and Don. So I am going to read the conversation one time You can follow me up. Pueden seguirme en la conversación para practicar un poco la pronunciación. Pero quiero que lo hagan con el micrófono apagado. Ok. So in that case we cannot cause any interference. Luego vamos a practicar un poco la conversación para hablar un poco sobre la estructura. Ok. How can we uh, start creating positive statements, negative statements and questions using was and where okay so let's start over it says uh give me one second okay it says hi don how was your vacation how was your vacation don says it was Excellent. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. With my cousin. We have a great time. We have a great time. Lucky you. Lucky you. How long were you there? How long were you there? About a week. About a week. Then it says, fantastic, fantastic. Was the weather okay? Was the weather okay? Don says, not really, not really. It was cloudy. It was cloudy most of the time most 
of the time. But we went, but we went surfing every day. Surfing every day. The waves were amazing. The waves were amazing. Celia says, so what was the best? What was the best thing about the trip? About the trip. Don says, well, something incredible, something incredible happened, happened. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. Okay, people, from this short conversation that we're having here, do you have any question with the vocabulary? Do you have any question with any words that you don't understand? ¿Tenemos preguntas con alguna palabra que no comprendamos de esta conversación? Oh, everything is okay. Okay, uh, waves significa olas, Isabel. Waves significa olas del mar. Okay, any other word, guys, that you might be uh, doubting about? Okay, perfect. I consider that you guys understand most of that vocabulary that we have in there. Okay, so what are we going to do with this short conversation? I would like we to start practicing a little bit this conversation. Let me see, Karen says cloudy. Cloudy means nublado, Karen. Cloudy significa nublado. Okay. Very good. So let's start, okay, uh, with the short conversation. I want to listen to you guys reading the short conversation. And I would like the help of Walter Reyes and Clara Marina. Could you guys help me out practicing the short conversation? I want to listen to you. So, uh, Clara, you can be Celia and Walter can be Don. Hi, Don. How how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Looking to how long were you there? About. Lucky, you lucky Lucky you. How long were you there? Lucky you. Lucky. Lucky you. How long? A week. Fan fantastic. Was the weather okay? No, really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, sometimes it's incredible. How can it you won't believe it? Okay, very good. Thank you guys. You did it excellent. Thank you, Walter. And Clara, now Robert and uh, Christian. Robert, you can start. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? 
it was excellent and went to Hawaii with my sister. We had three times of my turn. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? No, it, it was not. But we were so so, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened to us to move. Fantastic. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Robert. And Christian, you did it excellent. Now, Rafael. And Isabel, can you please help me out reading this? So Isabel, you can start. Hi Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii. Why? Why? We had a great time. Uh, Rafa, I think you got issues with the microphone. Eh, casi no se le escucha. Eh, se le escucha como, como muy al fondo, como si estuviese lejos del micrófono. Hola, ¿me escucha? Hola, hola. Eh, hola, ¿me escuchan? Ahora sí, ahora sí, Rafa. Hola, hola. Ok. Eh, dice nuevamente? Ok, Isabel, let's start again, please. Ok, pero yo no le escucho al compañero. No sé si me podría avisar cuando él termine para leer la siguiente. Voy a uh, iniciar. Uh, ok, ok, let's go. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It's a what? Excellent. I went to Hawaii. Why my cousin? We had a great time. Look, that... look it up. Look you. How Lucky long you. were you there? Like you. How yeah. long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It's only much of the time, but we went surfing every day. The, the waves were amazing. 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 Very amazing. good. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, sometimes we trade happy when we live in it. That's it. The best of it. Finish. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Rafael. And thank you, Isabel. You did it excellent. Now, uh, Jenny and Jaime. So, Jaime, you, uh, you are going to follow Jenny, okay? Jenny, you can start. Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? No, really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we we went surfing every day. The, wa the weather was were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, some something incredible happened. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. Thank you, Jaime and Jenny. Thank you. Now, Dennis, I want your help, Mr. Uh, give me one second. And Jocelyn. So, Jocelyn, you can start. Um, hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Thank you. How, uh, how long were you there? About a week. 
fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. I was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You you won't believe it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Denise, and thank you, Jocelyn. You did it excellent. Uh, now, uh, Sonia is working. Roberto Guzman and Fatima Laura. Can you guys help me out, please? Okay, I'm here. Okay. okay. We'll start. Uh, Fatima, Fatima, if you want, you can start. Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Thank you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. You did it excellent. Uh, now, let me see. Sonia and uh, Selena. Can you girls help me out, please? Okay, teacher. All right, if you want, Sonia, you can start. Uh, if you want, you can start. I would like you and Selena to help me out with the conversation. Okay. Hi, Dom. How was your vacation? Selena? Are you there, Selena? Eh, ahorita voy entrando, teacher, porque me estaba sacando la aplicación y no sé qué estar haciendo ahorita. Ah, estamos practicando la conversación que tiene en pantalla. So, I don't know if you can see the... the, the... The, the conversation on your screen, Selena. I have to ask a question. Eh, no, Selena, ¿puede ver su pantalla? Sí. Ok, ¿puede ver la conversación que está ahí? Sí. Ok, uh, Sonia comenzó a, a leer la parte donde dice Celia. Entonces usted, quiero que continúe la conversación con la parte de Don. Yes, I am. Uh, okay, so can you, can you start? Where it says, it was excellent. Oh, okay. Elena? Uh, ok, Selena, le voy a dar unos minutos porque creo que ahorita como que no, 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 no ha de tener muy bien ahí la, la, like the signal. Ok, so Ana María. Can you help me out uh, practicing that conversation with Sonia? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you read the don't part, please? Okay. 
Me quedé esperando a Sonia. Sonia, okay, let's, read, let's read again, Sonia. Hi, yeah. Don. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It okay. was excellent. I went to Hawaii. With my cousin, we had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About with Fantastic. Was the weather okay? No, really. It was cold most the time. About the wind, surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Thank you, Ana Maria, and thank you, Sonia. Okay, thank you. you. Okay, perfect. So, we're going to move on to this. Diego, are you there, Diego? Yeah, it's sure. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me see. Karen, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you help me out practicing this conversation with Diego? Okay, perfect. I am right. started. Okay. Uh, hi, Don. How was your vacation? Uh, Karen? It was excellent. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii and with my cousin, we had a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? About a week. A week. Fantastic. What's the weather? Okay. No, really, it was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were okay, the amazing. The waves were amazing. Repeat. The waves were amazing. Okay. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible. In, ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra? Incredible. Well, something incre incredible. Incredible happened. You incredible happened. You won't will. Okay, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. Okay, you won't believe it. Thank you, Karen, and thank won't. you, Diego. You did a good job. Won't. All right, perfect. Okay, so who's the last person that's missing won't. here? Brenda, are you there, Brenda? Hello, teacher. Okay, perfect. So you're there. And let me see. Uh, I need one more person here. Judy? Are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, yes. perfect. Okay, can you girls help me out with the conversation? Uh, you can start, Yuri, if you want. Um, hi. Down. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. Lucky you, good time. Lucky you, how long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the word okay? No, right. It was cloudy most of the time, but 
We went through every day. What were a meeting? So, what were the best things about the trip? Well, sometimes in college, happen, you won't believe it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you to you both girls. You did it excellent. Uh, and I think I'm going to have the last participants in here. Guillermo, are you there? I don't know if you're working, Guillermo. Mm -hmm. no, okay, I think Guillermo is not there. David, Armando, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, I I want a volunteer to help me out practicing with David. Necesito un voluntario que me ayude a practicar con David. Yo okay, let's go. Yo empiezo. Okay. Okay. Hi, Dom. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii. Why me cousin? We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. I was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You you won believe it. Believe it. Okay. Very believe good. It. Thank you, David. Thank and thank you, Sonia, thank for helping out. Thank David. you, Sonia. All right, perfect. Now, guys, we are going to continue yes. with this. Now, so we have an idea about how to use the bird to be in the simple pass. Now I want you to go down specifically to the grammar focus, this part in here. So, and we have the past of B over here. So, check these out, guys. Four questions specifically for short questions with a yes, no answer. So, we got a question from the beginning using where and was. Remember, this is going to depend on the subject okay it will depend on the subject that you use that is going to be the form of b that you guys need in every question or every structure that you guys need for example if you got was and you got where so we got a couple of questions in there jaime can you please help me out reading the first question? Yes, teacher. Were you in Hawaii? Okay, excellent. As it says, were you in Hawaii? So we got where because in here you got you, right? So that's why we got where here. Okay, the short answer. If it is positive, you can say, yes, I was, right? This is like the short answer that we got. Yes, I was. Okay, si la respuesta fuese negativa, ¿cómo sería? Question. No, I wasn't. Perfect. No, I wasn't. Okay, so this will be the negative answer. Okay, if this person decides to say no, right? So no, I wasn't. That will be the negative answer to that question, okay? Now, the second question, uh, Dennis, can you help me out reading, please? The second? Yes, number two. Was the weather okay? 
Okay, very good. As he says, was the weather okay? So guys, if you take a look in here, ¿por qué tenemos acá was? Porque el subject sería the weather. The weather. ¿Qué significa esto? The weather. Como el clima. El clima. That's correct. And since we're talking about el clima, so that's singular, right? Entonces es un nombre en singular. So that's the reason why, okay, we got was in nowhere. Because it's a singular noun. Was the weather okay? So, como acá no hablamos de una persona, right? So we are not talking about a man or neither a woman. So in this case, the pronoun that we generally use in the answer, it has to be neutral. So that's the reason why we use it. Okay? Todo lo que tenga que ver con el clima, lo vamos a iniciar con it. Just keep that on mind, okay? So that's the reason why in the answer, you have no, it wasn't. You see? No, it wasn't. It hace referencia a qué? Al tiempo, al clima, to the weather, right? So that's why we got it, because we are talking about the weather, okay? Good. I don't know, guys, if you have any question in here. No sé si hay alguna pregunta hasta acá. ¿Dudas? Questions. Yeah, Rafa. Okay, so I told you, you said that you have questions. Okay, now let's continue with this. Now, let's read the next example question. Jocelyn, help me on reading, please. Um, That's me. Where do, you end, where do you end your coaching on vacation? Okay, thank you. As he says, listen. Where are you and your cousin on vacation? So in there, because we are mentioning more than one person, so that's the reason why we use where, okay? So how many people do we have here? ¿Cuántas personas tenemos mencionadas acá? So you and your cousin. So we got two people in there, right? So we got two people. So that's the reason why in here, por eso en la respuesta no vamos a decir yes, I was, o no, I wasn't, porque acá no nos estamos, no nos está mencionando solo nosotros, right? Sino una persona adicional. So exactly, that's a plural, including everybody, right? So that's the reason why in here, guys, you got yes, we were. Yes, we were, right? So that's including me and the other person, right? So that becomes in a plural form, okay? Now, and we have the last one in here. Uh, Fatima Laura, help me a reading, please. And that's one. Where your parents there? Okay. No, they Thank you, Fatima. So as you take a look in here, guys, where your parents, this is the key, guys, your parents, tus padres, right? So in there, you're talking about mom and dad, two people. So that's a plural form, right? Taken from an external factor. Where your parents there? Estaban tus padres ahí? So. Since that question doesn't refer to me, so in that case, so the answer is no, they, right? They, it's referring to the parents, right? Mom and dad. No, they weren't. No, no estaban. ¿Quiénes? Ah, sus padres, right? So in this case. So that's why we have they over here. Very good. So now, this part is just related to yes, no questions. But can we ask information questions? Yes, of course. We can ask information questions. How come? We can use 
how long and simply how. So let's read the first example using how long. So in this case, Roberto Guzman, help me out reading the first one. How long were you away? Okay, listen up. How long were you away? I was away for a week. Okay, thank you for the answer. Check that out. How long were you away? ¿Cómo interpretan esa pregunta? How do you guys understand that question? How long were you away? ¿Qué decíamos en las clases pasadas que significaba how long? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Por cuánto tiempo, right? So in this case, how long were? Recordemos que were es el pasado de be, que be significa ser o estar. En este contexto es estuviste, right? This is like the definition that we got there. How long were you away? ¿Por cuánto tiempo estuviste fuera? Right? So, this is the reason why, since we are talking, or this question is referring to an a specific amount of time, that's the reason why in the answer you say, ah, it was, I mean, I was away for a week. Ah, estuve fuera por una semana. So, you see? So, you give an answer with a specific time that you were away. Now, the next question. Uh, let me see. Diego, let's read it, please. Uh, how was your vacation? Ah, okay, very good. And the answer? Uh, it was excellent. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, as it says in here, how was your vacation? So in here, because you got your vacation, porque nos está refiriendo, right? Nos están preguntando por la vacación. And the singular or plural? Ah, is singular. So that's the reason why we have was in there. Y como es algo que no es una persona, por eso iniciamos con it, right? Because it sustituye la palabra vacation. In this case, in the answer, it was excellent, right? Ah, fue excelente. ¿Qué fue excelente? Ah, the vacation, right? So that's the reason why we got it in there. Okay, and you guys, just for you to keep on mind here. So in here, we got the contractions. How to contract was not and were not. So you got wasn't. And weren't. That's like the correct pronunciation of this one. Wasn't, weren't. Okay, so this just is the combination from was not and were not. Okay, very good. I don't know, guys, if you have any question with this. No sé si hay preguntas, dudas. Right out here. Okay, cool. I guess there's no question in here. Now, si no hay preguntas, ya vamos a identificar en este pequeño ejercicio que tenemos acá. It says, complete these conversations, then practice with a partner, it says. Now, I'm going to choose a couple of people to help me out. Vamos a guiarnos ahí por las respuestas. Vamos a guiarnos del contexto. Jaime. Can you please help yes, me teacher. out completing the first question? ¿Podría ayudarme a completar la primera pregunta, por favor? How long your parents in Europe? Ok. Ahí nos falta una forma del verbo to be, Jaime. What is the form of the verb be that is missing there? Is... Is. No, 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 Jaime. Estamos practicando where? el pasado. Where? El pasado. Ah, where? where? Was where? or where? Ah, okay. Where? Is. 
Where? Where? Are you sure? Plural, your parents. Ah, okay. Very good. Yes, teacher. How long? Where? Very good. Okay. Where are your parents in Europe? Okay. Excellent. Now, let me see. Jaime, para hacerlo más interesante, escoja uno de sus compañeros yes, para, que me, para que siga la conversación. Mm, one moment, teacher. Okay. Choose one of them. Rafael. Okay, Rafael. Okay. The second one. They were, they were there all... Okay, where again? Like this? Where? Yes, where? Okay, excellent, Rafael. Very good. They were there for two weeks. Rafael, choose another person yes. to continue with the conversation. Okay, Diego, help me out on this, on this question. Okay, perfect. Uh, were they in London the whole time? The whole time, whole time, okay? Whole, oh, yes. okay, whole time. Okay, excellent. So here you got where again, right? Very good. Were they in London the whole time? By the way, whole significa todo. The whole time, todo el tiempo. Okay? So this is the way. Now, Diego, help me out choosing another person to continue with the conversation. Uh, maybe Christian Rodriguez. Okay, Christian. Okay. No, they were, they also went to Paris. No, they were. Like this? Yes. Uh, are you sure, Christian? Yes. Do you guys they think were. is that correct? Well, yeah. no. Weren't. That's Weren't. negative. <laughs> it's negative. And apostrophe and T is missing, okay? Because it's a negative answer. No, they weren't. Okay, Christian, help me out choosing another person to continue, please. Um... Um... Only one person, Christian. <laughs> Clara Marina. Okay, Clara. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Okay. Where? Okay, let me see. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Angeles. Okay, here in English is a little bit different. Angeles. Okay, very good. That's correct. Thank you, Clara. Now, help me out choosing another person, Clara, to continue with the conversation. Okay. Clara. <laughs> eh, ya le digo. <laughs> okay, okay. Karen Castillo. Okay, Karen. Um, <clears throat> sería um, no, I weren't. Uh, I. Are you sure, Karen? Is first person, Karen. Single, right? Uh -huh, that's singular. Uh, single. Uh, no, I, I wasn't. Ah, uh, okay, very good. No, I was wasn't. Okay, very good. Uh huh. No, I wasn't. 
Ajá. I wasn't in San Francisco. Negative. Yes. Mm. I wasn't. I wasn't. Otra vez, no. Eh, es como que a usted le pregunten, Karen. Hey, Karen. Were you in San Salvador yesterday? Listen up. Were you in San Salvador yesterday? Y usted hubiese estado en Santa Ana, ¿cómo me hubiese dicho? No. Uh -huh. No, I was in... I... I was in San Francisco. <laughs> exactly. I was. Right? I was. In here is just a was. All right? Very good. I was in San Francisco. Okay. Karen, help me out choosing another person to continue, okay? Um, Sonia. Okay, Sonia. The question, Sonia. How, where, it? Okay, it, can I use it with where? Can I say it where, Sonia? Are you sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is Sonia correct, people? No. Was. It's it, was. Has, it has to be was, Sonia. Because it is singular, okay? It represents oh, okay. singular. Yeah, so in here okay. is was how was it como fue right o como estuvo very good sonia help me in choosing another person ya casi terminamos brenda okay brenda no sé si participó brenda Hi. all right brenda help me out reading and uh, completing part b Mm. It where? It, it where? 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 Would mm. it? Okay. Look at this. Tenemos I was. You were. He was. She was. It was. We were, they were. All right, Brenda. Do you think it's correct to say it were? Um, it was. Nah, okay. It was. Uh huh. Were. It was great. Uh huh. But it was. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. It was foggy. Foggy. Uh -huh. And cool, as usual. Thank you. Foggy, por cierto, significa con mucha neblina. Okay? Neblinoso. That's foggy. Okay. Uh, can you please help me out, Brenda, choosing another person to continue with the conversation? Ya que se terminamos, people. Um, David Romero. Ah, okay. David, are you there? Yes. Okay. Help me out, mister, with the question. What? Number three. And were you away last week? Okay, excellent. Were you away last week? Excellent. Help me out choosing another person, David. And Roberto Guzman. Okay, Roberto. Yes, I was in Istanbul. Okay, I was in Istanbul. Very good. Roberto, continue 
with uh, another person? Walter. All right, Walter. Really? How long was you there? Are you sure, Walter? Está seguro, mister? How long was you? Ah. Mister? Yeah. Well. Exactly, because you got you in there. How long were you there? That's the question. Okay, very good. So we got to keep on this in mind, okay? Thank you, Walter. Now, help me on choosing the last participant, Walter. Ayúdenme con el último participante. Okay. Rafael Ernesto, you're going to be the last one. I was there on business. Okay, I was there on business. Excellent. So, people, this is the way how we can keep on mind the uses of B. Okay, so let's remember I goes with was, you were, he was, she was, it was. Ok, we were and they were. Todo lo que represente un plural irá con were. Y todo lo que represente un singular irá con was. Ok, was. so just keep that on mind. Very good. So now I'm going to stop sharing these guys. All right. I do really appreciate this past minutes that you have given me, guys. Uh, it, era nada más para compensar parte del, tem del tiempo que me estuve desconectando. Gracias por este tiempo adicional que han estado conmigo estos ocho minutos. All right. Unconsciously. All right. But that's good. Uh, para los que todavía no me han terminado eh, la sección 2 de la plataforma, please try to do it tonight. Y si tienen preguntas, dudas, me lo hacen saber, ya sea chat privado o en el grupo. Please. Pero necesitaría sección 1 y 2 esta noche. All right. Es para que no les estén mandando mensajes mañana por la mañana. Mire, ¿por qué no lo ha terminado? All right. So, just, just to avoid that, please try to complete that one tonight, okay? So, dicho esto, thank you for getting connected, guys. And let's see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, bye -bye. teacher. All right. Thank you for getting connected. Good See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you, Mister. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.